behind you by one meter, whatever direction that is. The direction that makes dust. Yep, yep, the direction that makes dust. Okay. Yeah, we got that shot. Sweet. We got that shot. Thank you. Um, and uh, while we're here, just uh, let's get about 10 meters distance uh, away, like back and uh, in altitude. Roger. Slowly back up with that yep. Atlantis lights there. Yep, I just want to see what we can get for a photo right. uh, of of the, the of the still, totality of still, the wreck. Still looking in the uh, bottom left camera area. Yep, look in the bottom left hand corner. Right. That's correct. I'll try and keep Atlantis lights off of it. And stay low. If I come up, it's gonna see Atlantis lights. Wow. Maybe come up just a few meters, right? Okay. Jonathan's going to give you some dramatic it. footage. Uh, okay. Jonathan, that's awesome directing right there. Yeah. It's just remarkable. Um, I cannot wait to share that's these photos awesome. with the world. Okay, um, that's good from this end. Uh, 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 did you see any other photos that, w that looked good, Dan, in your uh, reconnoitering, maybe the window shot? Yeah, the windows. There was a lot of interest there for the. Yeah, let's let's try to get a forward-on shot of the conning tower, uh, as if the as if the submarine was coming towards us. Oh yeah, right there. there you go. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take that shot right I'm there because that now. is eerily uh, amazing. No, you can hold that. I'm gonna come around yeah, and just hold the light here. And Jonathan, you're going to have a world of fun with this. It's absolutely incredible. Basically have the same shot in the Zeus camera as Jonathan has in his uh, wide angle camera. Yeah. Jonathan is the media director for Ocean Exploration Trust. He does a spectacular job with it. He's a very, very gifted photographer, cinematographer, computer programmer. <laughs> no, I'm not the programmer. Uh, Rachel what? Simon. I Rachel Simon. You. Oh, uh, you've masterfully stitched all this together. Now look at that large hole. Is that a hole? That's a hole right there. Hole yeah, it's incredible. You see that battle damage? That's just astonishing. I'm going to come down a little just to uh, get that glare out of the shot. top there. You'll be able to use these images to create a three-dimensional model of the sub as well, Jonathan, is that right? That is correct, yeah. And an immersive experience for anyone listening and watching online when Jonathan finishes his work on, re st on stitching together all these ultra high resolution IMAX Vegas sphere quality images <laughs> and video, you'll be able to use in the internet and your phone and your computer doing a, have an immersive experience where you can Can we fly. come down on the ROV just a smidgen? Roger. There it is. There's the window. More of a counter spin on that so we get that. Oh, yeah. There it is. Keep going. There's your shot. Oh, that's magnificent. Yeah, okay. Now back up. That's Roger. magnificent. It's not down too low there, is it? Nope. Okay. We got that shot. Let's remember these series of images. Well, uh, let me give it up to ROV. Would you like to enter full immersion mode while this, uh, while Atalanta is kind of steady here? Or would you like to uh, continue and finish the photogrammetry survey of, of the Ford? Uh, dealer's choice. You got Atalanta where you, I, we have enough leash to do the front there in photogrammetry mode, but you also have some rather dramatic Atlanta lighting at the moment so you have enough leash to get all the way to the front now yeah okay let's just with do the shot. I'm set up with photogrammetry so let's turn on all the lights let's get that done hose that off and then uh, we can come back and do fun stuff Roger I'll thank just, you uh, keep backing up on this now that we see how it looks but I'm on the wrong side for the light aren't I unsure you can turn on you can go lights all on ROV's yours Roger. I'll get I'll get reset up uh, somebody's asking if they're going to be able to 3D print the submarine. Yes. Oh my god, that's blank. That would be awesome. Sorry about that. Uh, how's my tether? <laughs> no, I should have warned you. My bad, my bad. And tether turns zero, right? 
Okay. Okay, so video, video. You want me to pivot and look at you? Yes, please. Okay. So I trouble. stopped filming. I'm going to go back into photogrammetry mode. and. Um, we have a question about what exposure time and ISO is being used. Gosh, I like whoever just said that. Uh, we are currently at 160th of a second, F8 to get sharpness through the uh, domes, and currently shooting ISO 32,000. Might as well be speaking Japanese, Jonathan. I don't understand yeah. anything you just said. They they mean they mean a lot to other the other camera. You should know all of these things. You're a, you're a bona fide. You're bona fide. Okay, uh, I'm set up. Right. Do I have the leash? I should 10, 20. Want some more? Uh, no, we'll leave Atlanta there for. You want me to come down at all? Can you come down? I think so. I think I'm. Where am yeah, I? Yeah, come the down just to here. Yeah. Okay, so while they're, um, I'm officially starting. Are you? Roger. I'm recording. Yep, I'm recording. So we're uh, looking at the dominant screen in the lower left-hand side for framing. We Roger. just want to get all of the sides. Roger. Butter the baguette. No, it's a baguette. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's hungry. Yeah. Did yeah. you say I water the, the food, baguette? Right? B butter. Butter the baguette. I literally heard water. I was so confused. <laughs> I guess I'm dehydrated. It's fine. Just gonna try and come around. We haven't done the reverse run on this side yet. We got it from going the yep. other way. Or we got it from 90 on, I guess. And uh, watch your framing on the lower left hand Yeah, try and view. come down a bit here. Stretched. I think you actually got this shot already, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, well I'll then you can concentrate on the top with the, with the whites. Right there, here we go. <laughs> Somebody wants you to go back to the USS Independent so that they can 3D print it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Ray, you'll probably have to come up as I... Uh, yeah, one of the cool features with uh, Sketchfab and many of the other online platforms that we're um, going on is the capacity. Oh, watch, don't lose too much on the right-hand side there, Captain. Sorry, Cap. sorry. Um, is the capacity, like Sketchfab as the app, you can actually put it into AR mode and you can throw uh, an object actually out into your living room and see it and explore it. It's quite quite remarkable and powerful technology again. That'll work on my, will that work on my Oculus 2 and yep. 1? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I don't know about 1, though. And Jonathan, it's called Sketch Fab. Yeah, we are at, um, these uploads, uh, uploads from this cruise, we've been trickling out, out to our account, sketchfab.com slash evnautilus. If you're out there, if you have a 3D printer, uh, we have uh, already published some of the models from the columnar basalt uh, formations. I just put up a model of um, an incredible estimated at a couple thousand year old coral that we found, um, just discovered a couple of days ago with the help of uh, Megan Putz and, and Hurl. Um, and just a just an extraordinary tool for both 3D printing and um, experiences, experiencing models in uh, 3D VR and AR. The future of virtual it, reality. It really is, it's extraordinary to be here and and see you guys stitch this together and it truly is the future. Oh, <laughs> somebody's asking, can we download plans to 3D print the moose fish? Uh, yeah, the moose fish is available to download on our Sketchfab. And it's a monkfish or a goosefish, lovingly called the moose fish. <laughs> but not really a moose fish. Sorry. I'm gonna I turn really left here just because yeah, okay. I can't fish. turn. The yep. other way around too easy. It's I think, I think Slomo needs a moose fish. He does. Can you go back to the moose fish? <laughs> uh, just no EV Nautilus slash EV Nautilus. Here, I can help. There you go. That's good. Do nice run on that, and then one more back and forth on top of the white corals. All right. Here. We 
Well, you're gonna. This is gonna be great. It's not just blue water. This is actually gonna be the most fun. No. Thanks for thanks for setting us up, Larry. Um. Yeah. Still strange to me to do photogrammetry so fast. I'm used to like. <laughs> Someone in the oh, back going, yeah. slow down, slow down, slow down. Jonathan yelling, faster, faster, faster. I mean, come on, we got to cover this. <laughs> we got, we got three cameras. <laughs> it is true, though. Like that's the power of what we're doing here with the different cameras. Um, it allows us to do things uh, more efficiently than Ludicrous one camera speed. alone. <laughs> are you doing another pass like that? Yeah, right here. Okay. Right here, right now. I yep. will predict you better this time. Sorry, I'm <laughs> no, that's okay. making it up as I go. <laughs> Whatever's the easiest way to turn when I get there. It's not too low, is it there? Nope. I'm, using, I'm looking at the top down right now. It should be good. <sighs> Beautiful. I think we've pretty much covered it there. I don't know. What do you I, think? I agree. Um, so... Uh, ROV is yours. Let me get set up for immersive filmmaking mode. Very I think good. that just to set you, we'll want to do one complete run with uh, Atalanta following us with the lights, kind of following ahead with the lights down the entire length of the bow. We're looking for that slow, majestic choral music playing in the background kind of shots. Really slow and stately. Um, so we'll do a shot where we're kind of uh, flying nap of the earth on the side of the sail. Um, on the sail side? Yeah, on the sail side. Let's go from the per from the broken bow up me? towards the sail as our first shot. Uh, sorry, I'll come back down. Yeah, you can come it's up. Okay, okay you want to put... Uh, so... So what am I doing here? Okay, I got this. 10.1. It might seven. be easier to go the other way, but... Uh, it's up to you. I mean, Six ultimately, we'll want a shot uh, that is kind of nap of the earth flying um, with the sail appearing out of the darkness. Uh, lit exclusively by uh, Atalanta because of all this backscatter. Right, so you want to put Atalanta right about okay, so there? What am I doing? Pro Let's see how that looks. 20 two meters, two. maybe. This offset okay, seemed to be to pretty to good that. when I da, 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 da. turned Hello, her plates Dan. off. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, goodness, that's dark. Uh, all the Atlantis lights on? Yeah, they're all on. I am about 11 meters above you, though. So, so if you're happy with that offset, Jonathan, we'll just move Atalanta up to the broken bow. Oh. and. Um, how Well, can, you, can we just... Uh, why don't we just keep Atalanta there and go to the broken bow? Can do. Just see what it looks like. Why don't you, uh, you can come down a few meters maybe and Kay. put your light on it. Let there. me reconfigure mon left, try. No, mon right, try. Um, actually, I'm going to turn my lights on. Uh, the uh, afternoon watch is here, so I'm just going to show them. Uh, what we got, and I'll turn it over to them. Roger. Okay, I'm gonna go off the thing. I'm Thank you. Here. Yeah. Bye, Dan. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too, hun. <laughs> so we are gonna uh, be switching over in a little bit as we go to the four to eight watch. Oh, well that's. Good. And Jonathan's gonna stick around, probably. Or you better believe it. It's too cool. Uh, what, yeah, what this Jonathan's is all watches. I'm yeah. all watches. <laughs> all watches. I am. He, he doesn't, doesn't sleep. sleep. That's why he was taking a nap earlier while we were <laughs> looking around uh, and I, mapping. I hope Do I didn't actually snore. No, you SPL. didn't. Okay, I, that's good. <laughs> As he says, sleep is for the week. Sleep yeah. is for the week. <laughs> or the, true? Or the control van. Sleep I'm is gonna, valuable. I'm going to go and ask <laughs> Quinn if he can print me the moose fish. I yeah, really want one. I definitely want a moose fish as well. Yeah. Did he make up the moose fish? Did well, I, I certainly hope so. He was reluctant about the moose fish at first. Why? I don't know. 
It's supposed to be for Halloween. It is supposed, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, Dan and Jonathan, my, or anyone, uh, Allie, my, my brother is asking me on uh, text, why is uh, the half of the imperial chrysanthemum uh, obscured? He's never said he's never seen that before. Uh, and anyone here, if you, uh, he said that these, uh, we're not, he's not sure what that symbol is beneath the chrysanthemum. But he said typically the Japanese would not permit the imperial chrysanthemum to be altered, changed in any way when oh, it that's was painted. Interesting. I had not noticed that. I mean, he's, yeah. My brother Jimmy yeah. spotted it. He's listening. Jimmy, great catch. Yeah, it had like a like a swooshy, oh, wait, like my, wavy river yeah. kind of looking thing, right? My, my typically, other, it looks like a full flower almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, Typically, it looks like a full flower. And my brother Christopher, who's also listening, good job, Chris. Great catch on that article on the sub, on the on the aircraft carrier sub tomorrow. I'll share my brother Chris's article with you. But they both point out. Christopher points out. He said that he thinks that those those lines beneath the chrysanthemum look like waves. They do. Yeah. Don't they? Yeah, I have not seen the chrysanthemum in that way. Um. So, yeah. And if anyone's able to ask the archaeologist, Jonathan, or Dan, um, or anyone? Maybe Hans is still listening. Is yeah, Hans, Hans listening is or? probably the best one to ask about that. Okay. That was awesome, Dan. Yeah, thanks, hey, Dan. Great job, truly, Dan. Masterfully done. Yeah, Nautilus, this is Hans. I'm working oh. on that one, too. That's a very interesting you symbol, an but I think I can, Allie? well, I can contact I my uh, friends in Japan. Please tell us. Because it's earlier there, and maybe they're going to answer. I'll let you know. Yeah. So, yeah, you, you still can't hear Hans. Thanks, Hans. I cannot hear uh, Ali, so I... SPL check, one, two. Have you leaned, Charlie? Ask, so really SPL clear. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you're still listening, Jimmy, the, they're going to ask experts in Japan why the chrysanthemum is cut in half. Great question. <laughs> Someone Good said catch. moose fish for life. Okay. That will yes. not like okay. how my right so. lens always appears. Whatever. Too late. Why does that seem like it's not? I appreciate all the, the moose fish fans. Look at the settings one more time. Uh, okay, Simon, Daniela can you tell is me when here. Find yourself in off. a good place. Why does my right lens seem? Out of focus. I don't like that. I was just telling my brothers, uh, Chris and Jimmy, that they, they caught hey, that. Simon? Yeah. Could you do me a favor and uh, maybe get a two meter standoff distance and as low as you can without touching ground so I can do a focus check? Sure. One of my, one of my observant brothers pointed out quite correctly, it's good to have multiple pairs of eyes watching, which is Perfect. the Thank you. genius of this uh, telepresence that Dr. Robert Ballard has invented for the Nautilus. That's me about three meters off the Okay, off the that's good. There. Just stick right there. Put the floor on, <coughs> on. All right. Off, continue this off. And over here. And focus. 
this and continue this on, the light cap on, area small. Is everyone settled in for introductions for our shift? Sure. Oh, come on. All right. Hiya. Dan, you want to start us off today? Sure. Uh, I'm Dan Dietz. I'm the watch lead for this shift. And uh, I guess today we're going to be continuing to explore the stern section. And once we're done here, we're going to move down and explore the bow, which was essentially severed and cut in half when this torpedo hit it and it's just located a little ways. We did a sonar image of it so we know where it's at and we'll be going there afterwards. And in my day job, I'm a program officer at the Office of Naval Research. So we do science and to essentially learn about the ocean, the atmosphere, and also develop new technologies for sensing that. Thank you, Dan. Um, I have a quick comment here. We've been talking about the chrysanthemum and in the chat, someone said they have a photo of the I-201 when she was surrendered, and the crest is not there on her sail. It was, so they think it was added post-war. That's really interesting. Yeah. All right, so we'll continue on to Zach. Okay, sorry. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Zach Taylor. I'm over here in the data logger position. I'll be keeping track of everything we see today. Um, and then we'll be a part of the team later, building the model with this downstairs. Um, so yeah, when I'm not here at Nautilus, I'm a graduate student uh, over at UH Hilo, uh, working on uh, using remote camera systems for uh, near shore observations. Okay. All right, Simon, on over to you. Hi, I'm Simon Jones. I'm the uh, going to be the pilot for the next four hours or for the remainder of this dive. Um, British born, Canadian, now living on the east coast of Canada. Been RVing for around 17 years and three years working in the field of science. And then Christopher, you want to go yeah, next? Yeah, so uh, I'm Rennie Kane and I'm uh, currently <laughs> late for my watch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shamed on SPL. <laughs> <laughs> While Rennie's taking his licks down there, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll jump in. Uh, Dave Robertson, uh, video engineer, uh, zooming in on things. Uh, been on Nautilus uh, since 2016 and uh, 143, 146 days this year so far uh, as of Monday when we get done uh, with this trip. So almost half the year spent uh, on Nautilus. That is and quite a bit of time. You know, uh, it's quite a bit of time, but not as much as Rennie. <laughs> <laughs> Rennie always wins on that. Uh, when I'm not on the ship, uh, I'm retired. I live on the coast of Oregon. And then Mike, on over to you. Uh, I'm Mike Burns. I'm the Atalanta pilot for this, for this group. Um, I am a professional mentor over 10 years, uh, RV just uh, this year, uh, but work on other research vessels uh, as a marine technician and uh, captain of survey vessels. Thank you. And Congressman, over to you. Yeah, and this is John. I'm John Culberson, a former congressman representing West Houston and the uh, served on the Appropriations Committee for my time in Congress, and I was uh, privileged enough to represent the folks in West Houston's District 7 and chaired the uh, I chaired several subcommittees on appropriations, but the one uh, I particularly enjoyed was the Commerce Justice Science Subcommittee. I funded NASA, NOAA. I had the privilege of working directly with Bob Ballard. That's how I got to know Robert and uh, to help him uh, with the uh, work that is being done on the Nautilus and uh, with the help of my colleagues to fund uh, NOAA. NOAA's work on developing telepresence and competitive peer-reviewed grants for magnificent organizations, nonprofits just like this one, uh, all over the country. And this is my seventh expedition on the Nautilus. And I, every time I come, y'all raise the bar of uh, performance each time. And it's a real privilege to be here. I'm working, uh, helping today 
as a, as a part of the science uh, communications team. Well, thank you for joining us today. Glad to be here. You bet. Thank you. And then I'll go on over to Jonathan. I'm Jonathan Feely. I'm our OET's media producer, and uh, I've been the lead for this uh, incredible project and incredible team that created this uh, uh, camera system that we're testing today. It's called the Wide Field Camera Array, uh, but we affectionately call it Triclops here on the ship. Um, a pair of stereo 180-degree lenses and a third cinema camera on top that help the camera collect uh, fantastic photogrammetry to create 3D models and um, film for immersive uh, kind of big dome theater projection as we're about to do during uh, this watch. So um, without further ado, Simon um, and Mike, the last watch we have Atalanta kind of really beautifully perched um, on top of uh, the wreck and I think that the ROVs uh, forward of the conning tower right now towards the area that was uh, split by the torpedo um, the first run that I'd like to do is kind of fly nap of the earth um, along the what is now the deck uh, just to the left hand side of frame there uh, you can see Triclops view on that small monitor Gee, Dave, is there a way we can please get that on the large upper right monitor? So is this uh, fisheye? Yeah, the fisheye, yeah, doing? that's okay. correct, yeah. Right. It's the only lens of note right now. Got it. There we go. So that's our viewpoint into the world right now. And um, I think the idea is going to be to kind of back up as much as your tether allows. We should be able to see the front broken uh, um, of the where the uh, bow split off from the rest of this submarine. And I just want to fly really low and slow using Atalanta to uh, light the way. Okay. And. Uh, Essentially, I want to just keep running uh, as far down the submarine as we can. So, so circling around the conning tower um, and then continuing down the entire length of the submarine. Um, and if Atalanta could follow with its lights, that would be superb. Anything specific you want me to note, Jonathan, for, for anything? Just immersive filming? Prepare for epic. So, Jonathan, you want to you want to be starting kind of exactly. Yeah, got it. Yeah, the idea is to to essentially start there at the limit of the tether, um, and we are going to slowly go down that upper deck portion, uh, circle around the conning tower, and then continue down the deck portion. You're going to want to be about uh, maybe a meter and a half standoff. And I like this 45 degree angle that you kind of got going on in relation to the submarine. Roger. And uh, yeah, if we can start back as far and down as possible before beginning the run, that'll be great. Okay. Oh, and ooh, let's try to do that whole thing where we turn off all the lights and then uh, turn them on dramatically. <laughs> That's really beautiful. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready for Atalanta lights. Sonar image of the Jonathan, should I highlight this as epic? Absolutely. Epic. Do you want it to I mean everything is epic right here. Yeah. Can increase your gains on the mezzo here. That that's a beautiful shot. Okay. And uh, we're gonna keep be that's keeping better. That's about my limit right there. Okay, Hercules as low as possible without sc scraping, and then, um, yeah, ROV's yours. Uh, lights off at, at your thing, and I'm just gonna start recording right now. Just lights off, and, or lights on whenever you want. Okay, I'll copy that. And I'm recording, ROV's yours. Right, yeah. Okay, yeah. You, can, you can turn the lights off. All right, lights going off. Yeah, your, your lighting, Jonathan, gives it an even uh, ghostlier appearance. It's really by. beautiful. Okay. All right. And yeah, it can start coming up on the lights. Or not. Lighting up.
keeping as low as we can get. I almost want to be looking up at the conning tower as it passes. those asking questions in the chat, we'll get to them after we're done filming this so the ROV pilots can concentrate. Got a good view in bubble oh, as well. Oh no, wait, um, guys, I'm sorry, I forgot to stick the cameras out all the way. <laughs> okay. All right, so that was uh, take one. Let's take one. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and reset. Yeah. You can see there in uh, the down bubble. Full view, practice uh, room. Your, uh, yeah. your proximity there, Simon. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, we need the tool tray out. Coming out now. Stop recording right now. Keep that energy, people. <laughs> Just Once solid, again, solid, everyone. With Thank emphasis you. and feeling. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I just wanted. I hope everyone felt that little chill when those lights came on. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm gonna want that. Yeah. Absolutely. I can only imagine in high resolution IMAX quality. Jonathan. With a great deal of noise reduction. Yes. You have a good documentary. When we start this, can you say this for us? Yeah. Okay. Got a good sonar target. You clear for lights down. Yeah. Lights coming off. Roger. Recording started. Okay. And lights on whenever you. Lights coming on. Roger. The deep sea. Absolutely incredible.
just keep this rotation going around the conning tower and actually let's just end the shot uh, facing forward behind the conning tower. Copy. And then um, as long as you don't have a tether problem, once you're facing forward, I think we want to rise up just a little bit and then float down the length of the submarine forward. Roger. In fact, since you're here, let's just do a full spin to reveal the chrysanthemum and the imperial uh, rising sun. Yeah, there you go. Just gentle. Oh, I love that. counter a little bit more. Gonna get the lights in the upper right hand side of the uh, fish eye view there. Once the once the rear of the Hercules is free. There you go, there you go. Okay, can we just pause here? Yep. Actually, you can do what? Let's let's do that shot. I'm going to stop the shot right now and then do it in reverse so yep. you can untether yourself. That sounds good. Um, and the difference here, I've started. You can you can start your move. Yep. I think once we start to spin, um, and we we can see clearly in Atalanta's frame the or with just Atalanta's lighting, the uh, Japanese flag, I'm going to want you to actually go all lights on when you're as close to the flag as possible. So we're, we're in effect, we're going to slam all the lighting on on Hercules, and it's going to blindingly blare like white, and then all of the exposure will fall down, and everything will be in uh, really stark, beautiful color. So we'll continue that counter down. You'll get as low as you can. Um, and once you feel the moment is right with the, with the flag in frame and the ROV positioned as close as it can get, um, I want you to turn on the lights. Roger. You, uh, do that for me, Mike? Just so I can. Yep. Just yeah. let me know when you're ready. Roger. And for the viewer who wanted the David Attenborough quote, I tried to get Jonathan to do it, but he started laughing too much. <laughs> And here, deep in the sea. <laughs> no one can hear you scream. And ready in three, two, one. I think lighting now. Lighting. Hmm, didn't work the way I wanted to. Is that side light on? Uh, no. Mm, let's go all lights off again. All lights off. And let's counter it so the light, uh, keep going to the left, to the port, and then um, other left. And then um, let's frame it up so that Atalanta's light isn't in the shot. Let's try it again. Not sure if that's actually possible.
You want me to turn my light away from you? Um, well, that's a crazy viewpoint. And back off just slightly, please. Just trying to get the flag in frame. Oh, yeah. A little bit more. There you go. Hey, that is really beautiful, Mike. Can you reverse that now? Yep. Real slow. Well, okay. as slow as your buttons allow. Ooh, that's a beautiful effect. Just keep rolling on it. Can you slowly back away? Yep. Mike, why don't you try uh, spinning to the right again with Atalanta, or spinning to the left to sweep down the length of it away from Hercules? Oh my gosh. Whoop. That's unreal. All right, Mike just got a cinematography credit. <laughs> uh, can you can you reverse it now? Yep. Do you want it fast or slow? Uh, slow. Okay. Ready think, to start? Think planet Earth. Okay. <laughs> so starting. Yeah, Simon, I love that horizontal move you have too. It's incredible. There you go. I think you need to back that off to lighting director. Yeah, otherwise, yeah. Otherwise the union's going to be all over you. Yeah, that's true. Key grip. Just spectacular, Jonathan. And okay, um, I'd like that again. I'm going to stop the shot. Simon, can you go to the right and then down so we're kind of like looking up down the length of the submarine from this viewpoint? Uh, yep, so looking towards the... To the right and then down. Uh, yeah. Jonathan, is it okay to read some comments or questions? Totally, absolutely. Oh, right. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to take that. That's interesting. So um, I have a viewer saying that they found the answer to the chrysanthemum question, okay. and that it was embedded. Em, it was emblem of submarine division 15, and they found a photo of I-201 in November 1945 after the war, and the chrysanthemum Watch that tether loop there. Yeah. Gotcha. was on both sides of her sail. The other photo is probably the Japanese submarine HA-201. So I don't know if any of our at shore um, experts would kind of want to weigh in and give their professional opinion on the chrysanthemum. Um, and then I also have a question from the chat asking. Let's they get know, as low as we can right now, please. Roger. They know that the ship was scuttled, but they're kind of asking why was it scuttled? So from the reports I can see here, um, it was towed back to Pearl Harbor um, from Japan. Well, it, it started out being driven, and then they had a catastrophic battery fire, and they had to, to essentially the change yeah. it to um, being towed. And then at can that point, lateral to the left. Yeah. At that point, after the battery fire, uh, it really wasn't runnable, so uh, they were used it as target practice. Um, and it was the submarine. Let me see. Anyone have a green fish or it's in your it's in your packet. I just can't find the packet. We have lots of packets for this. 
This is the... Okay, let's try that shot where we turn just the forwards on. Are you trying to think forwards of the ship on? that... Yeah, yeah, the sunk it. Torpedoed the it. That torpedoed it. Oh, here it is. It's our up as... Okay, mid's coming on. So it was sunk by the Queenfish, SS-393, uh, in 1946. Let's, okay, so let's stop the shot. Let's try just forwards. Okay, it's mid's coming uppers. off. Forwards coming, uppers coming on. Uppers, yeah. Okay, that's what we'll want. So let's, if we can, let's let the ROV settle out. We can turn off the forwards and then um, I'm gonna roll on this, okay? Okay. So Got we're it. just looking for a super steady moment with the ROV. I just started recording. That's a nice shot, Jonathan. It's gorgeous. We're going to go ahead and record on this for about 30 seconds. Again, this is actually recording stereoscopic right now, so there'll be an element of 3D to this if you're using a VR headset. And now let's turn on the lights. Uppers. There you go. Now let's float up and over. Uh, the conning tower again actually with the lights on like this Yeah, let's look at those windows my eyes go to the windows ROV is yours Simon just do fly with love Hans, um, or Phil, I don't know if you're still on there, but um, I'd love reflections of this point of the war and, uh, you know, maybe how I think the emotions surrounding um, the end of the war and these submarines coming back to Pearl Harbor where for the United States it all, it all started. I'd imagine it was quite an emotional event for, for everyone in that time. Yeah, this is still, you know, emotional on all sides, right? Um, in such a short amount of time, I mean, so much death and destruction and tragedy and loss of life and suffering happened. And for, for these subs to, <clears throat> to, to come back east um, in the Hawaiian Islands was, uh, was a big moment. Um, and I think celebrated with awe and admiration of the Japanese engineering that American sailors and servicemen and women had been facing for several years. To see that up close was, um, was, was a powerful moment for sure. Okay, lights and I off. Think it's also Oh, go ahead, Phil. It's also worth mentioning. I dropped this in the chat. Hans, I'm not sure if you're on, but um, Hans reached out to one of our Japanese colleagues, Akafumi Ibushi, who said that half chrysanthemum crest is also another symbol of the real Japanese name called Kitsujimon. Thank you for that. That's a squid. Squid, kind of a cool looking squid. Um, so I'd like to do this again. Uh, let's head back down towards the propellers, and then the uh, uh, there's a gash torn in the side of it, and we can turn off the forward lights again to to see what uh, only Atalanta looks like. Um. I don't. I don't believe we have. The, do we have the tether for the um, to get to the uh, oh. propellers? Or you want to move down a bit? Um, if it let's, if we don't have the tether, let's maybe go back to the bow and do some more work at the uh, explosion point. Okay. Do you want the lights back on for this move? Or yeah, I'm. I'm done filming. If uh, our okay. is yours, sure. let's just use the uh, the tether to its advantage, so we don't have to. The first coming on. Yeah, I think we're not going to be able to make it all the way to the propellers. Just looking up, just counting squares there. So, um, do you want to do stuff at the forward section then? Yeah, let's do let's do 15 minutes at the forward section, 
I think we could just do a static shot, Simon, um, and just kind of just floating gently with gentle parallax of the uh, of the remains of the uh, where it split. And then the other thing that we'll need before we go is just the big, big, big wide. So we're going to get maybe about this height, but as far away from the uh, as far away from the submarine as possible, so we can do that light reveal of hopefully what looks like a, a length of the, the vessel within a single frame. I'm not sure if that'll be possible with all this uh, backscatter, but. Oh wow, look at that crest. Official symbol of the Imperial Cubby. Kiki Sui, Mom. Yeah. So over over the text, um, we're getting that the I don't know if anyone can see this. I can't see that. Okay, uh, but one of the Japanese colleagues, um, and I'm gonna I, I don't know how to name Awabuchi, uh, says that the I-201 is an official symbol of the Japanese Navy called Kikushi Mon. Kikus yeah. Kikushi Mon. Kikusui. Kikusui? Yeah, Kikusui. Oh. Thank you. And showed a symbol of what it would look like, you know, and like gold and everything. So it's very similar to that symbol. Is it possible from our shoreside experts that we could get um, a little bit more backstory on the history of the chrysanthemum logo and symbol? And, and he also says that the uh, key. Kiku equals uh, chrysanthemum. Uh, sui equals uh, water. So it's like chrysanthemum water. Oh. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm nervous. This is home. I'm, I'm glad that Akafumi chimed in. And uh, thank you, Dr. Iwabuchi. And uh, the chrysanthemum, as I understand, is an imperial symbol. So, you know, the, the emperor's ships, um, the, the, the state navy, the imperial navy, would have the chrysanthemum crest, as well as many other things, I believe. Okay, let's go full lights off again, except for Atalanta, and uh, see what that looks like, just fully backlit. You ready? Yep. yep. Go, go for it. Thank you for that, Hans. Okay, let's slowly, well, okay, before we move, let's, let's just do a forward on. Upper coming on. Just hold the shot right there. Okay, now all the lights off, and uh, this time when we, uh, after all the lights off, I'm going to count down 10 again for the film, or, or while I'm recording, and then let's slowly lateral over to the side, and kind of like, uh, I'd love to try to occlude those beautiful white corals that are along the hull with the light of, um, from Atalanta, as we kind of fly along the left-hand side of the hull as low as we can get okay. with just Atalanta lighting. Are you ready for light? Mm -hmm. Show. Yeah. There. Upper off. And I'm recording, so let's just hold this for 10, just like this. You want all Atalanta light off? Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Yes, let's start with that. Yeah. Are you ready for that? Yeah. Yep. Atalanta light off. Okay, you can turn it on at will, and Simon, the ROV is yours. Okay, cover that.
Those corals look stunning with this lighting. Yeah, it's amazing. God, Dave, the view in the, the view in Zeus is also just stunning. It is really pretty. I added a bunch of gain so we get a lot of crane and a film-like quality. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's it's very <laughs> it's artistic. That's all for you, Jay. It's all like for you, Jonathan. If right we there. if we made it black and white, it would look very natural. Uh, I could do that. Can we get lower, uh, Simon? I'm essentially asking Simon right now for anyone that's watching to fly completely in the dark, given how much backlight there is with... Uh, well, that's why I added a bunch of gain to the Zeus camera, because you know it's not the artistic camera right now, so we'll just give him something to look at to fly with. I still think that's a stunning image. Let's try uh, forwards on now. I'm getting too much uh, direct glare. Yeah. Okay. This shot's dead. Um, okay. Let's um, let's go take a look at this. The damage to the hull right here. And um, maybe just settle out the. Yeah. Let's. Tell you what, I don't know what shot I want, so the ROV is yours. If you could just poke around and see if we can get a a viewpoint with Atalanta is a bit challenging, just kind of facing straight into our cameras here. You want me to face away? Um, yeah, you can try to temporarily. I don't think it'll be a very good image, though. I'll take that. Can you turn off the forwards and then turn back towards us? Yep. The chat is commenting, and I like this comment. White is associated with death in Asia. Are you ready for Ford's? Sure. Uh, Ford's coming off. So this could be a very moving shot with those white um, oh, we've got primp lights. So. Yeah, this 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 is it's a little bit too much for the lighting. So let's let's pick up um, and Dave, can we can we um. Up you can turn on the lights. On the oh, he's coming back on. I got nothing, Oop. man. I got nothing. All right, thank you. Just checking. <laughs> so I blind it. Um, okay, so let's pick up. We're done here. Um, and how can we maximize this? Uh, come up on the stick. If we can, the if we can, perhaps let's go back to the forward section that was split, and then. Um, if we can command the ship move to get maybe Atalanta so that we can, Rennie, essentially like travel down the length of the submarine uh, with Atalanta, like lighting in parallel, and then we can kind of spin around the uh, propellers uh, okay. at the end. Sure. Um, what I'll do once Simon's up at the top and you're ready, um, what I'll do is I'll call in that ship move so we're kind of... Atalanta will go along the length of the ship, and I think once we start to see Atalanta move, um, or just just prior to that, as Simon comes around. Sorry, that stupid thing is in the way. Um, we'll kind of just move around like this down the down the All right. down the length of it. Okay, coming back down. Do you want around the side or at the top? Uh. Yeah however, yeah, however you want Hercules is up to you, right in the length of it, but I can... We should do the side. Uh, maybe we should do the top. For immersion uh, to fly over top, you know, yeah, like let's, let's straight do the top. over. Like yeah, let's do the top. 
Yeah. Let's, Let's do just that. straight up top and then down. Yeah, we also already got the side, so. Did you want lights on or lights, lights off? Yeah, we'll do lights off for this shot and uh, tell me when you're ready. Okay, I'm just gonna um, get a little turn out of the out of the tether here before we move on. Cause yeah, we're getting all wrapped up. Yeah. Viewers are saying that the Atalanta light up top kind of reminds them of the rising sun of Japan. Are you saying that I am Simon's son? <laughs> yes. I guess that makes him your moon. So I'll be moving out of land to uh, three zero meters at one six zero. Okay. Let me, uh, back off and spin this out. If we only had a sixty meter tether. some tether management, everybody. Make sure we get those turns out. Got another three hours? Two and a half. Before we come up, we'll need to get the 6-8 wraps out. We will, yeah. Okay, that's the tether good. Chad is now saying, Simon Sunsan. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's earlier comment asking Simon if you are the Simon Jones, the, the famous actor who played. From uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy fame? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I've had that, been asked that before, and I've also been asked there's a cricketer in the UK <laughs> also called Simon Jones that, yeah. And you're better than all of them. <laughs> oh, thank you. They can't get this shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, all they have is money, you know? <laughs> you don't need that. And, yeah. and fame. You have your art. <laughs> I always say, why couldn't I be born rich instead of good looking? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Jonathan, to clarify, we're going to go down the side or over the top. Did we decide that? Did you? Simon's talking to you. <laughs> yeah, did I we? I think uh, uh, just up and let's just go straight down the length on top of the sub. On top? Right. Yep. Right, Nap so of the earth flying, please. Um, when, when you're ready, before you do all the lights off and everything, I'll call in that move. It'll take a bit. Once we see Atalanta go, why don't is that, is that how you want it? Um, so Hercules will be going and Atalanta will be kind of going along the length of it around the same time? Uh, yeah, could we actually get Atalanta to be a little further offset to the right as I'm looking at the ball of light there? So... Uh, uh, off to the right from your perspective. Uh, the yeah. I, perspective I understand now. what you're saying. Um, we'll to be the east, is it? Yeah. Uh, I think he means to the west. To the west. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that l ball of light is from this perspective oh, in yes. this camera, yeah. right? Yeah, that that's way. right. Yeah, off to the west. I'll yeah. step f five meters off. Just uh, I know we're we're at the kind of the the edge of our tether here. So if I go a little bit more that way, um, so I'll just see what five looks like. How's that? Might be yeah. Okay bridge now. Good afternoon. Can we step five meters bearing uh, two five five? Thank you. So we'll wait for that to settle in. I think it might be pretty tight on that tether though. It can still come down a little bit. Yeah. But I do have a have the conning tower just below me. Yeah, I could, uh, well, I could s 
start a little closer to you, so move west but also a little bit closer, if that's better. I'm coming down we'll slow. See what Okay, I'll stop there. Okay. So we have a question in the chat asking, what is the weirdest fish we have ever seen? Dave, you've been on a lot of these expeditions. What's the weirdest fish you've ever seen? Uh, the, any of the angler fish uh, types, like the chata cups or the goose fish that are kind of squishy and flat and, and the huge mouths, uh, the, the classic anglerfish that you see with the huge uh, teeth and the big jaw and that kind of stuff. Uh, I've seen one of those. Uh, we actually recovered one of those from a net on another uh, ship that we were on. And uh, I had seen pictures of that, you know, and, and that kind of stuff. And it looks so fierce and so horrible. And we got it up to the, to the deck of the ship and it was only about two inches long. <laughs> so it kind of lost its uh, fear for me, but still weird looking. Jonathan, that's starting to settle in there. It will be a little bit farther from the wreck for lighting purposes. Um, I like I like it. Thank okay. you. Um, so whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Uh, ready. We don't have to do fancy lights off to start. Um, okay. uh, other than the forwards of the ROV, unless you want to keep them on just to get a cr up and over the hull. Um, yeah, I can. We can try it with it off and see. Okay. Uh, I'll just add. Okay. I'll add game. Ready? Shoot. Um, so yeah, yeah, we can do Get that, and then why off. don't I call in that one six zero move, and that way we can move along with Atalanta. How's that sound? Yep, sounds good. Okay, bridge now. Okay, I'm recording. Okay. We step three zero meters, bearing one six zero. Thank you. Okay, I'll watch Atalanta here and see when we start to go. We might have to slightly try to preempt it, that way we don't get tugged any, but I think we'll be all right. And um, I think once, Simon, you get up and start floating slowly along the length of the, the submarine, um, Mike, if you could swing the light out and then back in with Atalanta, that, that would look quite epic. Okay. So we got uh, towards the stern and uh, then back. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Slow or fast? Slow. Okay. Well, fast out and then slow in. Let me know when you want that done. As soon as uh, Simon's safe with this snag of metal. Yeah, get over this. And Spoke. Simon, I love that you're kind of hugging the left-hand side of the frame, kind of floating over the white. Copy that. Okay, that ship move is uh, starting to Gorgeous. go in on the surface. Right. I expect Atalanta in another okay. 30 seconds or so start to okay. move. You can do the uh, Just super slow. Through. This is... Go bad. ahead. The chat is saying that the hull with the primnoids on top kind of looks like a china cops with its mouth open. This is just incredible. You ready for Atalanta lighting to go? Yeah, yeah please, yeah, please do that. Yeah, that would look incredible. You sweep down the length of it and then come back. Nice, yes. This is such spectacular views, Jonathan. You do start to run out of superlatives, my friend. You're gonna, you're gonna produce oh a spectacular gosh. film out of this. All right, Atalanta is on the move. Copy. Okay, now swing back and let's reveal that conning tower. And Simon, just just keep on doing what you're doing, just like that. Good job. Oh. 
and swing it back around and point towards where we're going towards the uh, propellers, please. And just leave it right there. Okay. I am haunted by the uh, commentary from the viewer that mentioned the uh, significance of white in Japanese culture with the. Yeah. Atlanta still on the move, heading down. Roger. Zach, could you tell us what the name of the coral is that we have growing here? Yeah, the white ones on top are um, of the primnoid family. Yeah, it seems to be all one species primarily growing across there. Uh, yeah. Do you know how fast they grow? Uh, no, I don't know exact. I mean, typically they're, uh, from what I've read, the deep sea corals in general grow about, I think it was one millimeter a year um, at this depth. Um, and this, I mean, this is kind of like a novel ecosystem, right? Growing on some artificial structure like this. Um, yeah, it's interesting to note that when it went down and then also when they went and dove on it in 2009 and then now we could almost make a good comparison, photo, you know, yeah. see of, uh, how, how long they were growing. So it went down in 1946. That's right. So it might be that they grow to a form at a certain rate and then slow as they... Yeah, and, and corals typically when they like first settle, I think they, they have a burst of growth, right? To kind of like latch on and hold on. And then from there, it um, stunts a little bit and becomes more of like a stable growth. But again, um, here, hard to know exactly, but clearly this place is being in with life, so. I feel like I've also okay, seen Okay, so as Simon, as we're reaching the end, sorry, uh, let's slip off the left-hand side and come down and then do a counter spin around the uh, propellers as low as we can go. Yeah. Lighting's good or do you want more direct light? Um, let's just roll with this for now. Okay. Another commenter is saying that we have a... You know, you could try your sweep right now, actually, as, as Simon's setting up to do the counter spin. We have on one side spooky white yeah. primnoids, but on the other we have a squat lobster that's happy-go-lucky throwing up peace signs. Yeah, try, try doing your, your sweep with the light. And Simon, you can keep rolling. Uh, keep kind of counter spinning around in the complete point. <laughs> uh, lateraling to the side. Okay. That's not super the ideal, the is it? In the dark. Looping back towards right you. Now. Yeah. Just imagine where you're going, Simon. Should be good. You'll there you go. Balls. Yeah, keep going, Simon. Lateral left. There's the propeller. And we're going to keep lateraling a raft around the... Uh, Rudder. Rudder? Yes. Little big flappy thing. And Atalanta stern plane. Settled in. Copy. There you go, and keep spinning just like that all the way around. Roger. Once we get around, I'll just want to probably settle out the ROV in front of one of the propellers and just do a static shot. Jonathan, I'll prepare you for the, uh, when we do the changeover, total change of flow and everything. So if you wanted to frame your next 10 minutes around that. Okay. Oh yeah, food. Yeah, different people coming in the seats and you know, it won't be as, yeah. yeah. It'll be a. 
Dave, there's a question in the chat asking if Hercules ever broke down in the water. I feel like maybe components have failed, but has Hercules ever completely broken down, to your knowledge? Um, uh, you'd have to define broken down, I guess. Um, completely become disconnected from the tether and, uh, <laughs> and float 30 meters above the bottom while... Uh, okay. Atlanta, uh, excuse me, well, Argus uh, stayed on the bottom. That yeah, happened. this isn't doing it for me. Let's go back around and uh, get clo up close and personal. That wasn't with Herc's fault. The, um, the propeller. Yeah, Roger. Uh, no, individual things happen that uh, compromise performance. Uh, usually uh, water leaks uh, that cause a ground fault uh, and cause us to lose a subsystem and if that subsystem is important enough, then we have to stop the dive and come back up. The chat is asking if the starboard side dive plane is missing on the sub. Oh. Like it should be above the propeller there? Yeah, because I think if you look here, right, there's one plane there. Is it supposed to be on the other side too? Um, just from this view right here where there's this recognizable propeller, can we do a quick uh, light sweep along the length? Let's see if we can get the conning tower in the light and back again. Roger, you want me to start from past uh, Hercules exactly. and move towards the light? Yep. Or towards yeah. the conning tower? And Simon, maybe one more meter of, meter of height. The chat is also okay. notifying us that Hercules did accidentally poke himself in the eye once and they had to surface due to that. Yeah. You ready for the sweep? I am. Okay. We hate it when that happens. Don't we always hate when we poke ourselves in the eye? Uh, it's true. It's like stubbing your pinky toe. Mm -hmm. One time Herc, Herc reached inside for a coral that was floating away and accidentally grabbed something that looked coral-like but was indeed a hydraulic hose oh. <laughs> for the arm that was it basically just unplugged its arm <laughs> and we had to surface immediately. Oh no. Ouch. Yeah, that would be suboptimal. Yes, it, Definitely. Was, it was indeed suboptimal. <laughs> I know I hate uh, it when I grab my hydraulic. You can, you can sweep back pretty quick. Okay, coming back. Man, I'm going to call this the mic. Mike. Yeah. <laughs> that looks cool. Light, light burns, if you will. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> um, okay, so let's settle down the ROV with the uh, lenses kind of danger close-ish to the um, propeller. And then if we can get a ship move so that the Atalanta passes over the top of the hull and starts to kind of reveal the propeller in the light. Okay, would you like that kind of like, uh, if you're looking at the ROV nav screen, uh, just from here to here? Yeah, Okay. exactly. All yep. right, you let me know when you want me to call that move in. Um, I think you can call it in now when, as Simon gets settled. Okay. Do you want uh, end on view of the prop or do you want side on view? Uh, aesthetically side-ish, and on Kind of somewhere in between. Okay, I'm going to step two five meters, bearing zero seven two. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty. Right. Jonathan likes pretty. Yeah, that's just gorgeous. Okay, you ready? Uh, yeah. Bridge nav. Step two five meters, bearing zero seven two. Thank you. Ah. Ah. Did you forget to start recording? Uh, no, I'm just, I, not quite. Still all good here, Jonathan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I always underestimate how fast the ship moves. Maybe uh, while we're waiting, um, can you lateral to the left and Let's peek through the down planes here, the rudders. Okay. Good. Oh yeah, you see how the light is just slowly revealing the 
yeah, structure of the propeller. There you go. Just said he wanted dangerously close. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say danger. <laughs> just danger just you know, you are completing the task. <laughs> yeah. really. Making us all hold our breath. Yeah. <laughs> just doing a great job, Simon. Okay, now uh, let's do the opposite move. Maybe a uh, maybe a half meter back from the. Danger close rudder there. <laughs> it's not Half that I. Half meter back or? Uh, no, 30, that's good. 30 just, centimeters just closer. Th yeah, definitely closer. No. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> just, just wedge it between both lenses. Hey, uh, Zach, just noticed that maybe the plane to the right that fell off. Oh, yeah. oh. You see it right there? Yeah, oh, yeah. there's your. So if you can. Starboard dive plane? Yeah, it looks a little long for that long, now. Yeah, yeah that's something. too long. All right, something else. But it kind of did look like it. Where is that? Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, slowly move back into position, please, for the cool rudder shot, or the cool uh, propeller shot. I like propellers. All right, Atalanta's starting to move there. It's just starting to move? <laughs> the ship? <laughs> The ship has gone, but uh, yeah, I don't there, that's perfect pace. All right, folks, pretty soon here you're going to hear a couple different voices jumping on as we are relieved for dinner. Keep so on going. We'll the be back to you in there half it is. an hour. Is moving. You can, yeah, you can see that, that shaft. Uh, Change, change in shadow. I think, uh, Rennie, I'm, I'm kind of going for like a 45 degree angle opposite, so you might need more ship move. I'm not sure. Okay. I was going for equidistant. I like equa. Oh, you mean like straight along, like on top of the hull? No, nope. I was going for the same distance away on the other side. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Hmm. Atalanta is approaching directly above the wreck. Simon, can you keep lateraling over and spinning around the prop? Try to get Atalanta's light out of the frame. Yep. Pretty cool. So Dan, we were had Atalanta on this side. We just moved it over here. We're getting a lighting cha change shot here as he pirouettes, and the lighting changes from Atalanta. I'm happy to see Aaron watch Simon do this because I totally suck. At it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's let's peek a little bit more to the right. Let's see what kind of. I'm just looking for something that's like recognizably a propeller shaft. Hey, Jonathan, is this a good place to stop? It is. All right. You guys want to change out? Sure. No. <laughs> <laughs> Atalanta's still moving. It's settling in on the other can't, side. Can't stop in the middle of a cinematic shot. Nah. Oh, this is going to go on for another hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always have the Jonathan watch. It's not, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If we relieve these guys right on the hour, they get in the front of the line. Otherwise, they got to stand in a long line. Yeah, Raj. Yeah. Six eight reps. They don't count. I put twenty in before Josh lost. Said stop. <laughs> the tether reps, however, yeah. Yeah. Roger. I'll try not to tangle it up while you're gone. Yeah. Just get out of here. Atalanta's probably settling in there on that other side, Jonathan, so. Thank you.
What do you what do you what are we doing here? You want to see more propeller action? Less shadow? Uh, yeah, I'd like you to. Um, well, can you swing around? And let me see Atlanta first. Let's see where hey, it is. I have no idea where it is. is that left. It's the other be. left. I, oh, you want to actually? No, it's above me. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Hold, hold um, on. Let me change it. So Ad Atlanta is lights is. There, I'm good. I'm good. You're good. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Atlanta is is uh, facing kind of down wreck. So it's not really facing the wreck right now, uh, lights-wise there, um, Jonathan? Yeah, it's facing off to the south, see? Do you want me to pivot? I don't know. So Atalanta's facing this way? Oh, yeah, we want to face it the other way. Yeah, so maybe face the wreck. Okay, so swing, swing it around. Swing yeah. Around. Dealer's choice, which way to turn? Sorry, just give me a minute. There we go, so we'll get a little bit more of that light. Oh, yeah. As you go. Oh, yeah. There you go. Keep laddling to the left. Um, Roger. Yeah, you got it. Do you want me to Do you come, down? come more? Oh, I'm trying to, I don't know if you care about the shadows. Nope, I don't care about shadows. Roger that. Now, uh, yeah. Okay, so. Oh, so you're looking at this big round camera here. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, big round. Roger. That's the only camera of note. Let's, um, okay, so. I beg your pardon. <laughs> At the moment. Sorry, man. <laughs> At the moment. Yours will look great in black and white. Dan, I'm just running gain up and that kind of stuff so you can at least see something. Roger. Thank Don't worry. You. Dave, your, yours is going to be that, you know, like, in the past, we had to deal with low HD. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> that an, an ancient terrible. image. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll, we'll Dan... We'll superimpose Dave's face on that shot, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't sit next to him now. And, um, I, I, can, I can see the monkfish uh, better in... Uh, Dave's shot, so well, that's true. I'm liking it a lot better, and we've got some fans with the monkfish also online right now. So, uh, so do you want so that glaring sun in the shot, or do you want uh, her to come up a bit? Only for now. Uh, I'd like to actually just slowly make our way back down to the uh, to the Ford at the submarine, just like this. On this angle of the dangle. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Would you like? And me you're all right with the glare there. Yeah, I can turn. And uh, yeah, you can actually command the the ship move all the way up to. This is going to be the last shot. Let me okay. just set that. Uh, this will be the last shot, kind of going up the length of the submarine, and then after that, uh, we continue straight on until morning, and we discover the bow. Okay. Well, I'll move out Atlanta. Just give me a second um, on the range and bearing there. And so once once I do reach the uh, split section, we're just going to fly straight over. I'll stop doing the filmmaking. Um, I'll go get lunch, and then we'll just do a quick photogrammetry around the nose, and then uh, pick up one or two shots, and we'll be done. All right. So no more than five hours. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're again. You're happy. You don't want to hurt a train come up again. No, I, think we, I think we should have the we um, have bright okay. light there, so Atlanta's light shining in your in your eye. Yeah, like, I can turn as well, like towards I'd, the sub more. Yeah, I'd I'd like you to actually turn towards the sub more. Kay. There's there's so much backscatter, uh, Dan. That it, uh, we kind of just have to deal with it. Okay. Um, let me know when I'm making that ship move. It will take a second for Atalanta to start. Okay. Go. Oh, good. How yeah. else you good with that? Let me know if that's Bridge too nav. much or. No, that's that's really beautiful. Just keep it kind of he ahead of. So can we step yeah, five maybe, zero maybe meters? Back towards bearing us a little three, for four, the light. Two. So he's trying to light up there in front of the vehicle. Okay, so back left uh, again. Okay, yeah. one. Split the difference. Yeah, what's our delta there? All right, twelve meters. Uh, what well, do you yeah. want to try sticking your arm out, Dan? I think we should try lifting Atlanta just a little bit. All right, go ahead. Yeah, come up just a little. See what the light does there. Oh, somebody said Dave's camera walks, so Jonathan's camera can run. Frame. Ooh. Yeah. Do you want to just out of that frame? Oh, I'm just, I'm just watching the light, see what happens. Okay. That might get Getting worse. Lower. Dave, I really am going to convert your image to black That's and like white. That's like 17 meters now. You add those like little, the film, like rippy 
dots <laughs> in post. And then if you turn towards me a little Back more. in 1957. Okay, how's that, how's that for light there, John? Yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry. How's that for lighting there? Uh, it's, it's beautiful. Okay, off we go. Okay, the ship move is called in. It just started to move Atalanta. And I'd love it if uh, if Argus can, uh, if Atalanta can kind of lead and reveal what's further down the hull. Yep. I'll wait till it moves out and I start getting uh, dark on my left and then I'll chase the light. Why am I recording this? So it's, so, it's so great because of low light. And yeah, low he's I, the, ISO. the ISO is just yeah. boosted yeah. To, to all heck. I mean, on both cameras right now. But Fix it and post. That does show a big difference between the triclops. And well, triclops is also hiding it a little bit better, the amount of noise that's in that image, uh, just because it, it's it's uh, a lot more megapixels. So it's just as noisy. Right, They're just smaller pixels. starting to move a little bit. Maybe not just as noisy, small, that's quite... Small noises. Small noise. Larger noises. Yeah. It's higher quality cinematic noise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> actually, no, it's true. It's the difference between that old uh, Velvia I'm running, noise. I'm running the Zeus camera at plus 24 dB. <laughs> <laughs> which is not its highest setting. I mean, that's still an impressive image. Yeah, this Odyssey's. is yeah. This is uh, shooting in available darkness. Yeah. I mean, look at the monkfish. It's super cool. I mean, if you want to try to do a float and zoom, I'm game. But no, no, no. I'm just making sure there's a picture enough for Dan to be able to see to drive. I've been over this submarine enough times now. I could fly around in the dark. Yeah. Sounds like a challenge. Lights challenge off. accepted. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See ya. But Looks it like is you're about the same pacing as Atalanta. Yeah, I'm trying. Am I doing this? That? Is as I fast so. as Atalanta's going? I think so. Oh lord. <laughs> Point three. Uh, can we get closer to the sub then? Sure. I, I want those white. Um, sorry, what species were they? Primnoid. Primnoids. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like those white primnoids. Just gent the fronds gently. Wafting in front of the lenses, please. Right there. Because with fronds like these, who needs an enemy? So oh, oh no. no. Nice. I need to highlight that audio. Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> Monk. Uh, 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 okay, you know, I, I meant, I meant, I meant wafting fairly. <laughs> you know, that's a metaphorical waft. <laughs> Not a, physical, you shall receive. not a physical brushing. <laughs> that well, is beautiful, years, though. Light years away from them. You want to walk through them, not look at them down. From freaking drone height. Very nice, Jonathan. Really beautiful. The detail you get of these guys up close. We have no idea it's a submarine. <laughs> yeah. It could be a whale. It looks like a rock. <laughs> it could be a rock. <laughs> it does look like a rocket with this light. Huh? So 20 meters horizontal between Atalanta and Hercules. Right I could speed it up a little. Just letting you know. Seems to be right going right. Right. Um, Okay, so I got I got 30 seconds of that. I'd love to try turning on the lights. Just the downs, maybe? Let's try the downs. Go ahead. Roger. Ready, Dave? Yeah, anytime. Eh, no. Wow. That's too much. Yeah. Too much. No. Yeah. There you go, Dan. Fly in the dark. Mids. <laughs> uh, no. Boards? Uppers. Uh, danger close. Danger. Danger will up. Oh, wait, here's a way. Uh, how about our little side light? Uh, I don't know if he's got the manipulator deployed. You want the craft view? Sure. Okay. Yeah, you won't be able to see anything right now, but... Uh, I guess turn on some lights here <laughs> so I can... Well, it's going to be a minute. i got to wait for the craft to boot up. I think you're uh, going to need to 
catch up with that Atlanta a little bit. Yeah. That's dark. I need light. Can you swing Atlanta back over, please? Light-wise? Looking at? Yeah. So I want yeah, sure. I want I want backlit from Noids. More backlit. More? Okay. Yeah, there you go. That's yeah, that's like perpendicular to her right now, so. It's beautiful. Ooh, that's a nice gentle float. Everyone should note that every time Dan takes his hands off of the controls, it's the most floaty beautiful. That's typically the way it goes. Are you saying we're best off if Dan just leaves his hands off? Completely? He's that. That's his own. That's his own quote. <laughs> that and no lights. And no lights. Yeah. So. Hey, where do you want this light? I can do it. As far off as can you extend the crafty Audi? Yeah. That's way out there. Yeah. There you go. That looks cool, just like that. Let's try it. Let's try running like that. A little okay. more in. A little more in. Roger. Gonna start to get tough. And oh, um, let's dial back the intensity of the Ship light by 33%. Roger, as soon as you buy me dimmable lights, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, so uh, I'm ready uh, if we can twist around Atalanta again so that the light is pointing towards the conning tower and we're going to just gently Roger. float past the conning tower. We and might want to move Atalanta back towards us. Yeah, I'm getting uh, dragged no, around. We don't, we don't. Oh, oh yeah, uh, do well, too. then let's just catch up to Atalanta. I'd rather not. Roger. Do all sorts of swinging. Here we go. And then uh, once you can, uh, if you can spin that around to face the conning tower, that'd be fantastic. Uh, yeah, you want to look, uh, as I give you a little leash here, look south. You can come down a little bit, too. Sure. I'm come down a little bit. Roger. Yeah. I should swing back around looking south. Yeah, I need I need more backlight. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, it's really interesting. We'll get past the Duster, crop duster, there. duster. That was uh, Tether pulling on us. Okay. There you go. Okay. Yeah. There, you want more south? Uh, no, I think that's good. Do you Kay. want that light to the left more, John? Or? Yes, I do. Roger. Uh, you get me. So this there you go. That's cool. Uh, a little too much. The Sketchfab yeah, right uh, web address is sketchfab.com backslash EV Nautilus. Let's uh, lift up the Herc just a little bit, get about a meter altitude. Right oh, no, no, no. This is the this is that damage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, danger close into the damage, please. I already stuck. You weren't here, but I, he stuck, I stuck your yeah, cameras he's, in there. Yeah, he yeah, stuck no, them way I, in there. I wasn't, I wasn't recording film. Really? When, no, when you were doing the interview. No, when you were doing the interview? No, it's yeah. photogrammetry. Oh. Yeah. Now we're doing some. Wow, this is good side light. Yeah, we kind of nudged up here and extended the cameras right in there. You could see down the hole. That was pretty cool. So you'll have some photos of it. Okay. That's good. That's good. Can we back off and kind of look the other way? Er, a Just little don't, bit. Don't bang the craft. Bob will never forgive me. Yeah, we're going to get a new one. Ah, never mind. This shot's dead. We can continue down the uh, hull, please. Roger. Atalanta's just about settled there. Can you turn off the craft ar uh, light and then turn it dramatically back on after 10 seconds, please? Dramatically on. Yeah, you have to yeah, make yeah. a you have to make a sound effect like you just have to think dun, dun, drama dun, dun, dun. with dun. emphasis and feeling. Yep. Yeah. Don't just it's not a regular mouse click. It's got to be with feeling. I'll let Ray do it. She's got more drama than I do. Yeah. Actually, she has very Kay. little drama. <laughs> <laughs> very low maintenance. <laughs> what? Which one is that hooked uh, up to? Starboard port. Okay, ready. Yeah, you're gonna have some flair though. Yeah. Dun -dun -dun. <laughs> that was awesome, Ray. Yeah. <laughs> Best oh, turning on of a light that's ever. That's a little squat lobster. He's, hanging out. He's waving. Thanks for the habitat. <laughs> Take me to Hollywood with you. <laughs> you don't want to go. The rider strike impacted everything. <laughs> 
officer seems to know a lot about what's going on up here. Um, and we can back off from the hull and slowly back off, and we're going to do a counter around the damage, but a, at a, almost 5 to 10 meters, okay? Roger. Just going to reveal the totality of the, the object here. I think more, more backy outy, More please. backy outy, right. <laughs> and more uppy. Do you want me to come up at all? So. Uh, I think you're in a good light okay. position yeah, there. Yeah, this is so cool. Just don't hit me. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're ten meters above me. Okay. But it might uh, make a shadow. No, I don't. I, I don't mind the shadow. The shadow is a feature, right. not a bug. Am I far enough away as I'm coming around here? Probably five meters away now. There you go. Up. And can you, uh, Atalanta, shine towards the conning tower? Sweep it. Is that to the... To your port. To your right. And okay. uppy. Uppy. Uh, and uh, Herc. On. Herc plus altitude. Right you want more right, Jonathan? Yeah, I don't actually see what you're doing anymore. Yeah, you I can think it just come off. to your right a little bit. Okay. And come up just a bit for me. Copy. And you know what? We got this shot better already. Uh, let's continue on, Dorothy, to the front bow section, please. Okay. Roger. I'm going to hand over to uh, Johan. I was going to call him Johnson. <laughs> I was about to call you Johnson. <laughs> I realize I'm not supposed to say that. So. Wait, no, it's coming no, on there. SBL there there we go. <laughs> <laughs> No, we'll get there. You can uh, come up. Yeah, I'm coming up. See if how uh, our tether tangles are there. <laughs> Do we have any right now? What's that? Are you uh, are you moving the boat? Uh, no, I just sat down, but I'm about to. Roger. Uh, right, there. Do you want to start on the eastward side of uh, the bow? I don't, I don't care. I, you can just or come right at it. Oops. Yeah, just come right at it. Oh, okay. you got a map over there too. Yeah. What am I doing? What am I doing? I've jacked up the nav screen. Okay. It's about 75 at 330. Total. Bridge, bridge nav. Seems 330 at 330, please. Twisting our tether there. Were the tether wraps zeroed this morning? Yeah, and Terry. really liking that stereo camera. That's a nice view. <laughs> I never thought I would get used to operating a vehicle with a 180 degree camera, but I don't know, I guess you get used to anything.
faster, Johan, faster. The ship's going. Faster. <laughs> Kick in the jet pump, 100%. More beans. More beans. <laughs> that, view, that view looks great in the fisheye there. It does. It's a nice little crab in there. So a viewer is saying that this is the battery well underneath the Ford battery compartment and that they guess all the batteries are gone. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, oh. if they're purposely scuttling the ship, right, you would think they would remove batteries and fuel sources. Yeah, especially then anything of value. Uh, all that was in short supply. <coughs> but those batteries are so heavy, if you remove them, it probably doesn't have the ballast. They use them quite a bit for ballast. Really? To keep it, you know, to keep it steady. Huh. Right side up. Dan, you work with subs, don't you? What's that? I have. Oh, other Dan. Oh. <laughs> There's two Dans. <laughs> two Dans. Yeah, we have... A Right Double here. the Dan. Ten meters away. Yeah, I'll wait till it gets a little further and I'll turn and burn. Okay. We have submarines in our Navy. Yes, yeah. we do. Do you want to talk a little bit about subs? <laughs> they go under the water. <laughs> do so they now? They do. It's oh. all classified. <laughs> all classified, yeah. <laughs> it was kind of fun reading the background knowledge and it's all stamped declassified. So. more tether as I get dragged over? Nope. Are you getting uh, tight? The submarines are... Oh, sorry. Um, it'll start. See. Okay. Uh, you can... Yeah. I'm going to turn it right now. See which way do I got to turn. I got to turn the other way. Yeah. Uh, uh. Hey, come down now. Uh, five meters. So I'm turning Kay. around here. Dan Dietz, do you know how many subs the Navy has? Actually, I do not know that answer. <coughs> I was just waiting until the ROV crew was uh, out, you know, moving along. But essentially, submarines are a very important part of the Navy. They go undersea. We have nuclear submarines, which means that they don't have to stop for fuel. Uh -huh. uh, you know, the previous submarines. Can you explain to viewers what, what it means to be a nuclear sub? So uh, we use nuclear power, and that essentially creates heat, which then we use to create power. And that means that, like, this is a diesel electric sub, which means that they had to burn, <coughs> they had to come and get oxygen, and then they had to essentially come to the surface and recharge the batteries and snorkel for a long time, and then go back under sea under battery, Roger. where our submarines can stay underwater for the entire mission. So are only subs nuclear-powered? Are there any nuclear-powered ships? Uh, we used to have nuclear-powered ships. So um, our aircraft carriers are nuclear-powered now. And we used to have nuclear-powered cruisers. And just was it just cruisers? I think it's just cruisers. Like California yeah. and um, was nuclear-powered cruiser. But yes, so we had cruisers, so surface ships and carriers and submarines. Oh. Can you uh, come up, Mike, because I come underneath you there? Come right up to 20, 25, or something like that. Thank you. Wow. And you can spin uh, 180 dealer's choice. In fact, I don't think we have any diesel power submarines anymore. The last one was the USS Dolphin, which was decommissioned sometime in the early 2000s. I wonder how the Navy seamen felt about saying that they were working on the dolphin. <laughs> I know, I had fishermen friends who they hated it when their boat was called the dolphin. It's amazing how flat and sandy this area is. Yes. Maybe the ocean will give us a nice treat though. We did get a, we think we got a shark sighting last night. We that was did. a nice treat Very at the very end. 
Thank you, Simon, for going to investigate that at the very end, even though we said go up. <laughs> it did not stick around very much. I saw one sea cucumber for Jonathan. Oh. You got to flick it out. There you go. So are we heading on over to the second sub? Yes, it's, not, it's less than 100 meters. So we're already halfway there. So the bow was actually broken off. So I think from the looks oh, of it. Is that another sea cucumber? There's another sea cucumber. I'll add it to the list. Jonathan's sea cucumber count brought to you by photogrammetry. <laughs> I've also been keeping the shrimp count, but we're only at three. A viewer is commenting that the Hawaiian sea mounts are very young ge logically speaking and that the silt here isn't very deep and that's why the I-201 has isn't very deeply into the bottom. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's always good knowledge. Our viewers definitely have a wealth of knowledge out there. The locals are always the, the place to get the real scoop of what's going on. Alrighty, we may be just seeing the bow in the fisheye camera. It shouldn't be about 10, what, 10, 15 meters away. So yep, that looks like the bow coming into view. So it looks like it's pointing back at the ship. So this is the bow of the I-201? Yes. So I guess when it was torpedoed, it actually broke in half. And that was the stern section that we're seeing. And now this is the bow, bow. And it's pointing sort of back at the stern section. So turned 180 degrees on its way down. Kind of looks like a pyramid just sitting in the bottom of the ocean almost. OK, do we have Jonathan or Rachel to start photogrammetry? Or do you know how to do it, Taylor Ann? I do not. I'm not sure if they just press that button there. Or not. The, little, the red the record, record button. Uh, they make it look way more the, complicated. Yeah. Right -hand side I'm not thing. sure Copy. what mode right. he was in. I will message Jonathan and Rachel. That's actually a secret that all photographers and filmmakers have, is that we make it look way more complicated, but there's really just a big red Rachel, button. Rachel, <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot two, of settings. Zero, this is very complicated. Two, four, five, at 345, please. Copy, thank you. Johan, do you know, do we need to do a high resolution um, Norbit scan? Does Chris does Chris need any more data on this or is he good? No, we are good with Norbit. The okay. thing I would say though is we haven't been to this section before, so we should kind of use our way into it and look for any potential hazards. All right, do you want to you do that? You want to just plan a trip down and make sure it's okay? Uh, yeah, let's have a little uh, recce around it and see what's uh, See what we got. All right, yeah, sounds good. No. Copy that. Uh, craft. I would say that's looking. Judging by the value, I'd say that's that's the craft. It's been pretty consistent at that throughout the throughout the trip. So Taylor Ann, we see a lot of those white primnoids that seem to kind of be our dominant life on here. Uh, but there's some of these little pink corals too. What are those, do you think? <coughs> yeah, from this distance, it's hard to say what exactly. It could be, uh, my, my guess is a hemichorallium, um, but it could also be paracorgid. Uh, but yeah, I also saw some uh, bottle brush chrysogorgia, so the fluffy looking ones that <laughs> look like a bottle brush. Um, and then, yeah, the pink fans, I think, are corallids. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back, Jonathan. Back and ready for it. Ruh-roh. 
Yeah, it could be yeah. a Perigogia. Yeah. yeah, it looks a little thicker than Hemicralia. Yeah. Roger. Yep. Yep. And then there's also some yellow corals that I'm so, um, not sure. Simon? Yes, sir. This will be the Mark I standard photogrammetry runs. I want to make sure that we have enough coverage, as always, of the uh, sand. And then flexion point between the sand and the object. And then, um, yeah, choose your analogy, but we want to make sure that we have full coverage and however you would like to ensure that happens with maybe a one meter standoff distance. Yeah, copy that. And altitude, you want? Um mm, whatever looks nice in the color. Roger. Let me turn on the lower. How do I do that again? Uh, data, try. I'm going to put little, back uh, the. A little reconnoiter around and see what we've got. Yeah. The. Ooh, wow. Eh, you know what? I'm just going to keep it like that. And then I don't want to deal with but that, like that, and then did lab four. And then I go over here. And what do we do? still coming, but I'll bump it up to the top yeah, side here. Fine. I'm just going to uh, come down the length of it and just make sure there's nothing nothing else in. Copy. That's a uh, fish I just cool. zoom there. Was that on purpose? Uh, yeah, that's an on purpose zoom. Um, that's going to be the fish eye view, and I'm going to pull up the other view. If I can, i got a lot of computer thingies going here. Okay, can we um, maybe get a lantern a little bit off to the uh, to the east? Sure. Yeah, maybe uh, five meters. Bridge, bridge, nav. Five meters at zero nine zero, please. Copy. Thank you. Okay, so roughly, um, uh, it's going to be difficult to orient. Uh, order, bottom, this, undo the blending, normal, do, do, back, data lab four. Changed resolution. So I have a question in the chat for Dr. Hansville Tilburg, but I don't believe he is with us anymore. So I'm just going to read the question out and see if any of our, if we have any other 